Garage sale day. Somebody just bought these. Man, when I think about all this, huh? my grandma would cry if she saw all of this oh God, don't be doing that. going. Come on. She'd cry. Look at this beautiful dining room set. This thing was like $8,000 or something that she bought from that expensive place called DeBoer's. And now look at this. It's going to... It's going to go. I guess these are things that we have to, we got to do. It's sad. Look at my mom, eh? Look how beautiful my mom was. Look at the siblings. And then, look at me. Looking like Milan. I must have been 16. <laughs> it's sad coming in here. Everything's ready to go. Oh boy, the end of an era. It's just the end of an era. And this is how life goes, I know. But this house brought so many memories. Yeah, you got a birthday today and we don't know exactly who is who and what is going on. You want a bread maker for Christmas? No, no, no. I pledge a lot to come together. You could take her for the weave. Where? To the hairdresser. <laughs> yeah. You mad? I had to go after her the other day. Oh, no, they didn't hear about that? No. Granddad you wants to jail. talk to you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Care about my cousin. Yeah, well, and what what happened to her face? Mm. Look at it, Grandma. Did you show Granddad? <laughs> so many memories. They're gonna have a yard sale tomorrow and see what we can get rid of. Ooh, it really is just empty. Just empty. Oh my gosh, all of that too? Yeah, the toys room, old room. <sighs> I knew the minute you would come in here, you would start this bawling. But you know, I went to the gym with Miles. No. It and is. Y'all are just selling everything. Okay. You want all the Egyptians? Yes. That's your your diary or something um, in there. And yeah, this I can't get rid of because this reminds me of Grandma. Yeah, no, that's There's a Diana Ross look, and this is how my mom looked. And I'm gonna reframe it. I'm gonna reframe this. I wasn't that we couldn't ship this to Atlanta for one of the kids. I know. It's too heavy. I want to know how you're putting all of this back in. I'm taking it. Okay, well. It's mine. No, Uncle Ward. How do you guys have all this stuff that you know we grew up with? Well, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna make a wall. Oh, okay. So, um, I just took some pieces that are meaningful to me and that remind me of my grandparents so i'm going to figure out how to send these egyptian pictures back to atlanta i'll figure it out i know what happened okay good i'm gonna put foam around it so i can take it back she wants she's taking everything we wouldn't have no garage sale here today because she started moving everything back in here Everything is coming back in the house. Oh, Look at oh, the stool. I just moved a little. Well, you know it's always excitement when you see Crystal. 
<laughs> and you see the room. Yes, two oh, in the building. You know they, can, <laughs> they cannot yes. hold us down. Yes. yes. So what is up with this beautiful tan that you have? Well, I just came back from Jamaica. My yeah, little, man. Five days in Jamaica. I got to experience the grill for the first time. Isn't it something else? It is gorgeous. That is a little piece of paradise. Like seven miles of beach. Yes. Yeah. Seven great miles of beautiful, beautiful beach White and clear sand. waters. Like I got to. I went. I went from. I spent half my trip in the grill and then half in Mobe. Mm. And Mobe has seaweed right now. Yeah, everywhere has seaweed. Not in the grill. Not Negril? Not Negril. Not Shoot. Negril is still um, clear waters and white sand beaches. It was so beautiful. Why is there these... Well, I know that they say even in Belize where they have beautiful water has lots of seaweed. Mm -hmm. The whole entire Caribbean has yeah. it. So... Is it like invasive species or something? Right now, yeah. Yeah, and it, it's just been happening for the last few years. So the best of the best beaches except for in Negril has seaweed. So that's where. So were you able to go in the water in Mobe? Absolutely. Oh. I still did. I okay. Still did. Okay. Is it weird? Is it, is it like slimy? It's slimy. So I wasn't in there. Like for all long. over in the water, all yeah. over. Oh my yeah. gosh. I wasn't in there for long, but you know I had to dip my of toe course, in the water. Of course, because that's where you swim. Exactly. Yeah, and then as we know, Crystal's still rocking the hairstyle. I, d I didn't know we were going to go somewhere. I literally came to come to the house. It was a setup. It was a setup. <laughs> the fro. And the I just fro. washed my hair this morning. You did? Yeah. So I like to let it breathe so the product can penetrate. Well, it's yeah. penetrating, girl. Welcome back. You're home. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Well, you know, she came in because... <laughs> to Rome. <laughs> but on a serious note, you came in for a funeral. Yeah. And um and that's the reason why you came in. But yeah. it's always nice for you to be here even though if it's for a certain amount of time, there's no children attached. Why are you why are you speaking so fast? <laughs> Except for the baby. Because we're supposed to be going for some dinner. <laughs> Okay, you want me to speak slow? There are yeah. no children attached to this trip except the. They know what it is. What? Does everyone know yeah, what I'm having? Yeah, they know what I'm having, you guys. I'm just so excited. It's a boy! boy! You know what? Some of my friends and family, they called me. They were like, why am I finding this out with everybody else? I'm like, oh, I forgot. Because <laughs> you knew for a while. Yeah, I knew for a while, so I didn't really like. Well, you knew I at knew, the baby reveal. You, knew, I, you told me, I was like, having twins? Oh, yeah. And you yeah, said yeah. something about boys. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Mia's birthday, she's opening up gifts, and this hoverboard, is she sitting on that? I think it's, I don't understand the, like, yeah, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Girl, you look like you're about to pull over some teenagers robbing the clear store. <laughs> well, oh, it's a seat? I need to put on my glasses. Oh. Oh my gosh. I mean, she's so nervous that she's so close to the stairs. I know. So. Because it's your birthday, you can ride it in the house right now. But you cannot ride it in the water. It will blow up. In the water? <laughs> Seriously. Like, like if it rained? It's raining outside. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that because it's raining outside. I'm saying that because it said it on the instructions. So you only... It will blow up in the water? So you only drive it in... <laughs> that thing was expensive. Uh, yeah. Run it past you. Oh, my God. So here's how the story goes, and I'm sure that you've seen it on the news if you live here in Toronto, that Kenyans are, they've come to Canada, and more specifically Toronto, and Toronto cannot provide shelter for all of them, so they are distributed throughout Ontario, and it so happens that one of the places that these lovely Kenyans are they are in my community and a big shout out to the shelter and the churches that are providing for them. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been going to these shelters where they're actually waiting outside during the day and then they come back inside in the night. 
and it's getting cold. So it's getting cold and I've given comforters and blankets. Today I went with hats and gloves and, and socks. And now I'm putting out the plea to my lovelies that I'm gonna hold a clothing, winter clothing drive for them. And I will tell you where you can drop off your items and I'll get them distributed. And some people, they sent in financial donations. So what I did was I went to the store and I purchased a whole bunch of warm items, socks and gloves and hats and scarves. And um, I really appreciate the lovelies that did all of that. I also picked up some clothes earlier for people, from people. And uh, yeah, today is the winter drive for those that couldn't make it. Sorting everything for our Kenyan winter clothing drive and it's going so amazing so thankful coats gloves hats shoes and there's another 20 new brand new winter coats that's coming on monday now we're going to go and distribute to our lovely kenyans look at all of the stuff truckloads and the clothes just keep pouring in i've separated these by sizes and I just want to give a big shout out to a company that wants to remain nameless they donated all of these items there's all sorts of coats and nice warm track pants and sweatshirts hoodies there's a ton of hats over here and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and meet with the pastor and deliver all of these wonderfully donated new items and really and truly, my lovelies are amazing, totally amazing, because the drive was so successful and it's just continuing. <music> 